the entrance and refund. Let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice, turn to the Lord and his strength, constantly seek his face. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, in my, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your command and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should, you, should your wrath blaze upon up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promise, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as, your fa as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adorned a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his distracting wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and sh shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish. These works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scripture because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writing, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, my dear brothers and sisters, today listening to this Gospel, we can say that Jesus Christ was angry with the leaders of the Jews. This reading follows, if you read in the Scripture it follows immediately after Jesus heals a paralytic at the lake of Bethsaida, uh, at the pool of Bethsaida. And when Jesus Christ wants to heal him, and people come to accuse Jesus for doing this miracle on the day of Sabbath. And they want a proof asking Jesus, if you are the Son of God. And Jesus Christ gives them the proof. He may, helps them to open their eyes. Uh, Jesus Christ, even though he did not need any proof to prove himself, uh, according to the book of Deuteronomy, you know, in order to testify one, you, know, you needed three proof. And Jesus Christ, in this gospel, he says, you know, first one is John. Second one, he shows the scripture. The third are his works. Uh, he makes them to believe. But these people... Their hearts were so hardened, so hardened, that they were not able to accept Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ says why they were not able. Because they did not have love of God, love for God in their heart. No? And this is what can happen to us many times. No? Many times we can look for God in many places. You know, many places through our own wisdom, through our own knowledge. Thinking I can reach to God. And God wants to manifest himself to us in small things, small events of our life, showing that he is present. But we are blinded. We are blinded because we want the things now. We want the things to be changed now. We want the things to happen in our life now, like the people of Israel you know, on their way to the promised land when Moses went up to the mountain, to receive the Ten Commandments. He was praying in the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights, preparing himself to receive this covenant with the Lord. And the people of Israel were like, where is this man? Where did Moses go? He brought us out of Egypt and he has forgotten. And we even don't know 
whether he's alive. And what they do? They make themselves a golden calf. And this can happen to all of us. All of us. Today we can ask, where is God? Where are we? What are we doing? Uh, let us make ourselves a God with our own reason. Uh, and this can happen to everyone. And this gospel in the midst of this time of Lent comes to help us this reading to sh see where is our heart. Is our heart looking for true God? Looking for the Lord in our life? Or we are looking for God just to fulfill our reason? Or looking for an idol so that we can have, we may be satisfied. And so I invite you today, brothers and sisters, uh, do not forget the things the Lord has done in your life, like these people of Israel. They forgot everything. Uh, they forgot that how God has brought them out of Egypt, how the Lord had opened for them the Red Sea, how the Lord had provided them manna, how the Lord had provided them water from the rock. They forgot everything and they started to worship this idol. Uh, if we are on the same path, let us convert today. Let us come back to the Lord and ask the Lord with the words of the psalm, psalmist. Remember us, Lord, as you favor your people. So the Lord may show us the same mercy what he has shown to these people of Israel. We should pour forth prayers at all times, dear brothers and sisters, but above all in these days of Lent, we ought to watch more intently with Christ and direct our petition more fervently to God. For the whole Christian people, that in this sacred time they may be more abundantly nourished by every word that comes from the mouth of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the whole world, that in lasting tranquility and peace, our days may truly become the acceptable time of grace and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For sinners and the neglectful, that in this time of reconciliation, they may return to Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. For ourselves, that God may at last stir up in our hearts a version for our sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own intentions and intentions of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your people may turn to you with all their hearts, so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer, they may receive by your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and your may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its reward. Through Christ our Lord, through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And entered willingly into his path, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, And eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the palace of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, bring her to the fullness of charity, to Edward, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin, Mary of her spouse, with the Blessed Peace to you through all.
all the ages. We may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be filled. Communion and Yupan. I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. Prayer to make a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. O God, protector of all who hope in you, bless your people, keep them safe, defend them, prepare them, that free from sin and safe from the enemy, they may persevere always in your love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world.